Hey everybody, welcome back. This time I've got a video for how to get to almost any web page on the Nintendo Switch using a DNS hack. Now this is just a little bit different from the old one that worked on 3.0.0. This one I found works on 4.0.0 and I actually confirmed that it works on 4.0.1. So my Switch is over here to my left, it's docked. And you can see I've got a little bit uh, better recording setup here. It's still not great. I'm still working on it. Um, I did plop down $85 for a recording thing. So we'll, uh, <laughs> this is the first video, so we'll see how this works. So bear with me. Let's go over here into system settings and we will check current version is 4.0.1. So it's obvious I'm making this one on 401. All right, so with this, we need to go into internet settings. So system, down here, internet, internet settings. Wait for it to find mine. And I am right here. Yep, ouch, sat on my nuts. That's me. Anyway, it does hurt sometimes, just saying. Okay, so ouch, sat on my nuts, enter your password. Okay, well, uh, since I don't have access to the touchscreen, this might take a second, so bear with me. Yeah, I know. It's the one that it came with. <laughs> okay. So successfully connected. That's good. Now, however, we need to change the DNS. Now, this one, the old one involved changing both uh, both DNS pieces. This one involves changing only one, which is a little less work, but in the end, it works. So obviously, if you have internet settings, when it goes through, it'll work like it's supposed to, but we want to bypass that a little bit. So we need to go into internet settings. Wait for it to come back up. Hit A again and change settings. DNS settings here, we want to change to manual. And the primary DNS is the only one we're going to change. You can leave the secondary alone. Okay, so here's the number. 0, 045.045. Point one four two point one two two dot point whatever. I've been dealing with numbers at work all day. Give me a break. Hit OK. Go over here and hit save. That's all you have to do. Settings have been saved. I go to connect to this network and watch what happens. Registration is required. Okay. Take me here. Okay. And I'm at Google. Okay, so we're going to use the joystick here to move around as if we had a mouse because trying to tab over and things is it's just a pain. So we're actually going to go into here. And we're going to go to uh, GDAX. Search for GDAX. OK. Uh, I'm going to go sign in really quick. I'm going to undock it just because I don't need everyone seeing my sign in for this. That should be fairly secure. So give me just a second. I know it's going to look kind of funny, but uh, just bear with me, guys. Sign in. Okay. Uh, now, I'm only doing this uh, as a sign in so that you guys can see that the um, 
site actually works, not just you can get to a landing page and nothing happens. And it actually does everything that's supposed to do. Now, would I recommend uh, trading on GDAX using the Switch, being that it's such a small screen? Probably not. Um, there is a little bit of latency. The touchscreen isn't the most accurate. Um, using the Joy-Cons to try and get back and forth by the time you get something selected, um, it'll probably not be working. And it's taking me a second, guys. Just please bear with me. Okay, I'm going to get a verification here. A verification code. Yes. Okay, so I'll show you here. I'm in. Let me go ahead and redock this and bring this back up so you guys can all see it. And here we are. So, yes, this is me. Um, there seems to be a little lag in the, uh, in the recording here. Um, that might be because this web page has so much going on that it actually taxes the CPU on the switch. So it's not as fluid as a desktop would be. But uh, yeah, you can see it does work. Now, if I could access the touch screen, I could do that too. But uh, I'll have to use the Joy-Cons for the moment. And then we select, oh, what are we on? Uh, Bitcoin US dollar. Let's go down to Litecoin US dollar. Uh, anywhere in here, you can, you know, look at uh, price points. Uh, you can see the order book, which off the top of my head, I'm not sure how you would scroll in this. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's all here. It does work. I still haven't bought in. And at 97.93, it's jumped up way beyond what I had. So, and that's Litecoin, but um, and that's going to continue to go up. That's going to bypass um, hundred dollars, probably even tonight. Um, there's only a few hours left, but uh, I think it'll jump up. So knowing that it'll go up, I'll probably buy. But that's not what this video is for: is to give advice on trading on GDAX. But this is to show you that it does work. Um, if we go back, keep going back here, back again, back again. Uh, let's try, let's try something else. Um, ooh, I, I got an idea. Let's try, and this ought to be relatively interesting. Uh, we'll do speedtest.net. Okay, see if this works. And while we're at it, we might as well give a quick go on this and see what happens. So while that's running, maybe. Okay, there's Zoom, so we can Like I said, it is a lot harder to hit stuff with this. Okay. So why I don't seem to be going, finding out the little server. So supposedly it's running. Uh, <laughs> well, if that's running, that's pretty bad. Um, so, yeah. But... Uh, I know some of you were asking about YouTube. Could you watch uh, YouTube on this as well? Well, let's uh, let's find out here. 
I tell you, this thing is really hard to deal with. Uh, sorry for all the pauses, guys. Um, I really didn't want to have to edit any more of this than I had to, but uh, it's all right. Let's see if YouTube loads. Now remember, this is on 4.0.1. This is still the most current. Okay, so the page loads for the most part. Oh, I think video might actually start. I don't remember if I have this recording set up to pull in audio from the switch through uh, my recording device or not, so I'm not really sure if it'll play audio. But uh, it's not looking too promising that that's just sitting there like that. Uh, so let's just, yeah, let's pick anything at all here. Close that. Okay, so uh, it doesn't look like YouTube is going to play anything. Uh, let's try another one, just see if maybe I messed up the loading. And no. Okay. So not everything works. Um, not surprising. But it seems that it will load a fair amount of pages. Um, I doubt Flash will load. I think only some Java sites are compatible. Uh, it kind of depends. So just try it, see if it works. But the main idea was to see if we could get GDAX running. And as it sits, yes. Uh, would I recommend it for any form of real trading? Absolutely not. Uh, is it kind of interesting to set aside and use as, say, like a second monitor? So in my case, I trade on my laptop. I like to have one view here, and I'm eventually going to get another, uh, like a 22-inch monitor or something to set on the side as a second view. So on my laptop screen, I could have um, Bitcoin to USD, and on my other screen, I could have Litecoin to USD or Ethereum USD, Litecoin, Bitcoin, um, something like that, but I have both views side by side so I can see what each chart is doing without switching back and forth. With this, it'd be kind of nice to have a smaller portable second screen, but I would not do any trading on that because to be honest, I've got tons of double clicks. Um, it seems to be very touch and go. Now I've got a, gla a tempered glass screen protector on mine. It actually improved touch responsiveness a little bit, but it's still very easy to mistype. Um, even just putting in passwords where you you go like this, if you wait too long, it double clicks. So you, you almost have to be precise and tap it. Again, not very accurate when you're working with things that are very small. So as a second monitor, yes, just don't plan to interact with it. You could very easily click something wrong and lose lots of money luck out maybe you make lots of money but I doubt it so yeah that's about it uh, I know you guys think about my new uh, recording setup here I know I need to work on it a little bit uh, get some better editing uh, software together but uh, yeah all in good time <laughs> thanks for watching hope you like the video like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video